Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Minecraft. So today we are continuing on. Uh, so last time I screwed up the big time on this and I wanted to show you uh, what I did to fix the generators here. So you remember I was eh, derping up and uh, it's actually a really easy fix. Um, it's like legitimate checkerboard kind of and uh, I kind of went, uh, I went, uh, well actually I screwed up on this one already. Damn, I could already see a, an accidental screw-up. Uh, but basically, you have to have lava on one side, and directly the opposite of that spot, you must have uh, water instead. So I'm going to fix this up and show you my mistake already over here, and then uh, we can go with that. So basically, this is a no-no here. Um, it looks like it was just one mistake, so that's not a big deal. But there you go. You have to have water. Okay, so lava, water, lava, water. Um, not lava, lava, then water, water. I thought that would work. I thought it was literally like, hey, the block will say, hey, there's two waters and two lavas. Produce energy for that amount. Uh, no, instead it was completely different, and that's where we screwed up. So basically, you just need the opposite, and uh, it works fine. So I charged this big-ass uh, HV capacitor. And it works really well, and I'm happy with it. So uh, the power system is now up and running. I made a couple more just to make it more, I don't even know why, more even, something like that. Uh, so uh, either way, uh, it works, and it'll be used for powering up things in the future. I haven't touched this yet. It's still a mess. Need to fix that up. Uh, but we'll get to that eventually. So I was thinking, hey, maybe I should check what's going on in my little book in life and uh, I just accidentally opened a browser for some really odd reason um, I was like hey I'm gonna click this and then realize I'm clicking stupid things uh, but anyways we have one ready here thermal power so of course that's the one we did and uh, we're gonna go and get ourselves which we want to need uh, nothing actually good here though huh Okay. Oh, there's a thermal power left side and right side. So this is right side thermal power. I'm trying to figure out where the other thermal power is. How could we have two of them? Hmm. Or maybe there was two of them before. Eh, whatever. Anyways, uh, let's pick up a reward here. Blah, blah, blah. There you go. Now, did I have a few more of these somewhere? I thought I might have, but haven't. Oh, yeah, that's right. We threw them over there. I was like, I was pretty sure we had more rewards, but I didn't uh, do anything with them. It's because we didn't want to deal with inventory at one point. And we just chucked everything. So we got, uh, ooh, a print press, typeset table, and some ink sacks. This is actually used for... Um, creating or duplicating enchanting books, I believe. A dirt chest and an iron paxel. Basically junk. Uh, we can go ahead and put these in here. And uh, we can go ahead and put these in here. And uh, I guess we can put this in here as well. There you go. And we'll put the crops. I haven't done any crops since uh, I started them. I will get to them, but... Uh, not really in a rush right now or anything special like that anyway, so it doesn't matter. This is the ink sex. Maybe they can go in there for now. Okay, so uh, I was thinking we'd start checking out the different machines. Uh, one was a squeezer, actually. Industrial squeezer. And uh, so you need four of the uh, squeezing box and ten of the engineering blocks but i feel like the industrial squeezer is actually more than that but maybe not i feel like it's like eight or something but we'll, we'll look at it we could actually look at the block uh the book too we have a book on all this and i'm not sure immersive here it is do, do, do. there we go so you can actually look up the book here uh, tools and simple machines. Not there. Heavy machines? Huh. Yeah, 
It's not in here at all, I don't think. Unless if I missed it. You guys will have to tell me, but I don't think I missed it at all. I think it's not in here. That's not a big deal. So what we can do is we can Google this anyway. So, uh, squ oh, squeezer. Here we go. So we can look up uh, immersive engineering squeezer. There you go. First link on Google looks fine for me. Okay, so it looks like it's actually a bit bigger than uh, what it was indicating through the guide there. It looks like the first layer is solid, oh. three by three, uh, light engineering blocks. Second layer is three by three, industrial squeezer blocks, and light engineering blocks in the middle, um, or sorry, on the top as well. So it's nine, nine, and nine. So eighteen of the light engineering blocks. So actually, we can just go squeezer and make those first. And uh, looks like we're gonna make iron here. Oh, this will be interesting. I think we're getting to the point though where. Um, we're finally ready to get some more iron in our inventory here. Okay, so we got that, and uh, thinking we should just make a whole stack of this. I'm, I'm assuming we're gonna probably use this over time quite a bit, so it's like, yeah, should I, shouldn't I? I'm gonna go for the should I. I thought I had enough there, and I'm already seeing that. Maybe I don't. Oh, actually, no. The copper was a lot less. Never mind. Kind of did have enough, but whatever. No, we have too much copper. And there you go. So we got 64 of those guys. Uh, we're going to actually need our green cactus. Now, I think I might have left it here and just grabbed two of them. Yes, here we go. So it's good we got that green cactus because it was actually used for a bit more. Uh, pistons. Pistons are going to be actually an issue here because we don't have any of the redstone alloy, which isn't something hard to make. We just haven't bothered with it. So to make it, it's just redstone surrounding uh, iron, but uh, it's a little bit of a cost, actually. I don't know if the squeezer one here gives you any more, or sorry, the pouring gives you any more. Well, that's to pour it. Never mind. I got excited there for a second. I was like, wow, that's cheap. Never mind. Nope, it's not cheap around there. Just as expensive. Okay, so we're going to go redstone crazy here. I'm thinking because you use this a lot that I'm going to go a little more crazy than I would normally go. Let me go redstone, redstone. Redstone, redstone. Makes me happy we have all that set up. I need to really do barrels eventually so I could store a bit more, but uh, that's for later on. And uh, I believe that was iron in the center, so let's get a hunk of iron in that center. Come on down with your iron. Okay. We're going to put iron one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There you go. And, uh, hell, we'll throw it in there. One of the, I mean, if we spread the load, it would have been better, but it's like, eh, you know, we'll just throw it in there. Okay. And then we're going to want a ton of cobblestone and wood. Uh, so I'm doing this actually this style because um, I want to make an actual 64 of the pistons. I think I'm going to use them over time a lot. So uh, I was making mega trees and it took me forever. I would show you me making the rubber trees here, but it's not worth it because it was a horrible long time. But you can actually turn them into jungle planks. So they're, they're worth it uh, since you can use them just as normal wood. But I got them in a bag or whatever, and it just covered, like, the sky. It was really messy. I was worried some of the leaves wouldn't disappear over time because it kind of glitched up, but it looks like everything did disappear, so I'm very happy about that. Um, one, two, three, and actually one of those wood we didn't need. There you go. Almost halfway. Okay. So that will get us our piston. Oh, we need it. Oh, we need uh, iron too. Oh, damn. If 
fine. Suck away everything for me. Okay, there you go. And we'll put two couple stacks of iron in there instead. Might as well throw some of those in there. Just slowly, slowly cleaning up my inventory here as time goes on. We could repair this. Do we have iron here? Yes. There you go. Wasn't sure if I had that. And uh, that'll get our squeezer. And then I said I need nine of them. So we're going to have one extra industrial squeezer block left. I can make uh, two of them down the road. I kind of sometimes make two of all the machines eventually, but I'm not like in a big rush. What kind of fluke cow are you? Molten obsidian. Nice. It's kind of fun to check these cows out once in a while. Just see if there's something very exotic. And there has been here and there. Molten. Oh, yeah, that one is. Molten bronze. That one is the, the special resource that you'd go to the nether for. So if we can grab a bucket and grab more of him, he's actually kind of rare. Only for the fact that uh, we could use him later on uh, to make ourselves a good tinker's tool. Just to pick up a few rare resources from the nether. So I'd recommend grabbing that. This will give you a higher mining level later on. Okay. Ready for this. And then I think we're ready for this. And... Oh, why only 48? Oh, what? Did I derp up and only grab... Th oh, I think I grabbed three cobblestone for wood. Anyways, we derped up somewhere here. There we go. That was a little leggy doing that. I haven't had that leg for a long time, but I guess it still exists. One, two. Okay, so we want ten of these. Excellent. And we want the light machine. Uh, engineering machine. Oh, here we go. Heavy engineering block, light engineering block. That's what they're called. So we need some copper, 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 and a lot more iron. So let's get some copper, 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 and a lot more iron here. Here's the copper. Here's the iron. And we need uh, 18 of these, so uh, yeah, that should work easily. There you go. Oh, quest complete. We don't have our magnet on. Nope. So I guess we can put this over here for now. I kind of, you know what? I think I'm going to do it now. I don't want to expand, expand the platform just a bit because I don't want to deal with uh, having the mess kind of right now. So let's do that now. Okay, let's go ahead and, you know what, we'll just grab some new fresh blocks here. New kids on the block. Okay, one, two, three, one, two, three, boom. And then we're going to get ourselves a wand. Let's get ourselves a new wand then. One, two, and then we need ourselves a dimmin. Actually, there might be... Is this a pack with better wands? Oh, yeah, there is. Uh, but you need, like, the builder's wand, which is unstable. I don't feel like doing one of those right now, even if it's kind of easy. They can be a pain to make, so... Yeah. Requires the builder's wand. So we'll stick with our uh, diamond one for now. It's not like it really costs us much of anything anyways, right? Oh, we probably are going to want to get ourselves some basic tools. So we want to get maybe a hammer. We're going to want MV cables. We're going to want the, of course, MV connectors. And even then, we might not have what we need, but it'll get us going. Okay, so we're going to get over here. And we'll start. Ooh. There you go. There you go. We can fix up whatever over here manually after. Oh, we ran out of the, the material, but this will get us started anyways. So uh, we can go over here and start creating whatever. So... Uh, well, it actually depends. Do you want to deal with, hmm, 
You know what? We're going to get a lot more cobblestone. I was thinking, do we want to deal with, uh, you know, running out of space? Because, you know, we, we're going to expand the generators, of course, too, right? So, one, two, three, four, five, six. So, I'm thinking, you know what? Let's actually change this up a bit and uh, deal with it instead. Okay, so, uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. There you go. We'll double our load. It sounds wrong when I say that. Double your load. All over. So hit F7. So you get the uh, mob uh, warning in my boppers. I'll jump up here. Uh, let's sink down, actually. There you go. Now, if you do uh, accidentally do something stupid like this, this is terrifying. You can do a uh, wand oops like this. And you will get back that material. I don't think you can do it more than one step. Uh, it might be bound to the wand as well. So I don't know if you do multiple wands. If you could undo multiples at once. I'm just making sure you guys don't make the mistake. Because uh, it would be it would be a mess to clean. That's for sure. But at least you do have one wand oops that you can use if ne necessary. There you go. What we can do here is touch that. Awesome. Oh, I thought it killed our water source or something. I don't want to attach the big platform because I don't want it to go out that far yet anyway. So, Oh, the wand broke. Awesome. Okay. I think we're good for now. So I'm going to go ahead over here anyways and I'll build our base here for the squeezer. We're gonna have to leap off the side here to get this up. There you go. We'll uh, we'll make this a little bit better over time, but there you go. And then we'll get our blocks here again. There you go. And then you probably want to smack this somewhere, uh, right at the front, probably. Then again, I might have not. Oh no, it says the. Huh. Oh, each block has its... Oh, no. The squeezer has its own power system. Oh, you know what? We derped up. Okay, I derped up. I made one extra squeezer block like a noob. We weren't supposed to. It was one extra engineering block in the center of it. So this is a very f easy fix. Oh, shoot. Just means I uh, got an extra bit of squeezer blocks, but I said later on... We can easily fix that up anyways. Um, so here we go. Light engineering block. And that will solve that. Okay, mobs might be able to spawn on this, but I actually don't think they can, if I recall. But you want to be careful, because uh, this place can get pretty deadly. There we go. Boom. And you right click it with the hammer, of course, and you get your activation point. So I think this could be a power in. There's probably multiple power ins, honestly, on these things, but uh, since it's right there, I might as well go for it. So we can put this in here, and then we can right click this and connect it to wherever. I was actually thinking you can make poles uh, immersive. You can make uh, power lines, like wooden posts, for example. So if you really want to make something a little more fancy, you can make stone brick, basically, and treated fence. I'm thinking, why not for fun do that? The stone brick might be a little more challenging, though. I think stone brick has to be done with smooth stone, but I'm not 100% sure. And here's some treated sticks. So let's uh, let's give this a try, shall we? Yeah, we don't have enough for those. Do we have any more around here? No, we don't actually. Okay. And then the stone brick, which I think is for the other guys. Yeah, I think it's for these guys. There you go. And it was something like this, I think. Ah, there you go. So it's just a fancy way of that. 
And then uh, what we can probably do here is... Oh, I had a wand in here anyways. I'll throw these in here for now. I was thinking what we can do here is uh, probably get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Probably time to uh, just get more smooth stone. Smooth stone, of course, is... I was wondering if I had a bunch of glass still somewhere. Because it's like, you know, this is kind of weird, but I swear I had some more glass than what I was seeing. I never did try to look into it, though. I just like, eh, I don't see it, so whatever. There you go. We know now we have a bit of glass. Okay, so we're going to work our way. Up, 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 and away. Okay. So we're going to get this uh, going here. It doesn't matter where you want to do this, really. But uh, you could do it in an even line, or you don't have to. The thing is, over time, it's going to probably go over here anyway. So it's like, eh, whatever. So we'll put this here. I don't know if this will reach this far, to be honest. But you can put this here. And I think you could put it right on the top. You can actually use the hammer, I believe, and customize it as well. Have it come from the side and all this kind of fancy stuff. And Ah, this works from here. And then... Oh, got to jump off the side. The half steps with that armor kind of screws up, but there you go. And then there you go. It's already powered up, so there you go. That worked just fine. Now, I wouldn't mind this here, but the only downside is we got no torches on us, so if we place those in certain areas right now, we're probably going to have uh, mobs spawning, and we don't want that now, do we? Now, like I said, I think this one, no, it doesn't. Mobs can't spawn on these machine blocks. Some of them don't, some of them could, but these ones don't, so uh, that works out well. For safety standards... We probably should uh, seal this up a wee bit more. This is going to be eating most of the blocks right here, probably. That's a very long distance. Oh, there you go. We only have 13 left, probably. Yeah. There you go. So there's the squeezer. And the re reason we're using the making the squeezer is because later on you'll have other blocks that will require the squeezer, uh, and etc., etc. Actually, I wonder if these will work in the squeezer. And I think these cook, to be honest. I don't think they need anything squeezed. No. But the squeezer will be important over time. And uh, we'll go through that process. Um, but I'm going to be doing things... I I think there's you can kind of skip things and do it a certain way. But I am thinking I will do it on my own... Just like my own... Uh, or not my own, but follow the pattern instead of what they're offering quest-wise. Oh, I got another couple of these guys. There you go. So we're just putting this in here for now. There you go. So I think after that, uh, we can do things like the fermenter. So the fermenter is probably the same idea. Uh, you can make a lightning rod, though it never storms, as far as I know. So I don't know how this is going to work, unless if it has its own artificial ones. But yeah, I guess we could make it anyways. And I uh, wanted to make some like wind turbines and uh, some of these cables for fun. And basically go from there and just have fun crafting and making new things over time. So that'll be exciting. And uh, interesting either way. What kind of cow are you? Are you the one that was just like two feet away from before? Oh yeah, the molten obsidian one. So uh, thank you guys and girls so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like. And we'll see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye.